This is the Donabawang Road in the Yarra Ranges National Park, one of the country's most beautiful forest drives. The unsealed road sneaks through magnificent untouched forests in the Yarra Ranges. They form part of the Great Forest of the Central Highlands of Victoria. Along the way, a short stroll to the granite outcrop of Ben Cairns is a worthwhile opportunity to stretch the legs. Various forest types can be experienced on this 30 kilometre long drive. Amongst them, tall mountain ash forests with a lush understory of tree ferns. In sheltered gullies, ancient cool temperate rainforests with stands of myrtle trees thrive in the damp environment. A short side trip leads to the top of the 1,250 metre high Mount Donaboyne and its observation tower. The top of the lookout tower offers panoramic views of the surrounding forests. Below Mount Donabarang awaits another highlight of the park. So we're here at the Rainforest Gallery in the Air Rangers National Park um, in Warburton, Victoria. So the significance of this is we're in a cool temperate rainforest and um, with the mountain ash overstory. So it's quite a unique vegetation type. Um, quite a sensitive, vulnerable vegetation type. And so, um, yeah, that's why we've got these boardwalks here and the cantilever boardwalk, which is kind of the, the skywalk, if you like, so that we'll be able to um, show people they can go and explore through the, the gallery. The Unsealed Archer and Way, another magnificent forest drive, connects the Rainforest Gallery with Marysville. Marysville, at first glance, is a picture of normality. Only the modernity of the buildings is a giveaway that Marysville is not as it used to be. Ten years ago, the Black Saturday fires, the most devastating bushfires in Australian history, destroyed almost the entire town. Local doctor Lachlan Fraser witnessed the catastrophe. John Brumby certainly gave dire warnings about what was coming up for Saturday, but uh, a lot of us were fire naive and um, didn't think anything particular about it. On the day of the fires, uh, uh, dry, windy, um, it's about mid-afternoon, 3.30 when you could see smoke as this massive bloom of smoke expanded to fill a third of the, of the horizon. Nobody was really sure uh, which way it was going and, and the fire information was um, abysmal. It was as if a nuclear bomb had gone off. A moving new memorial remembers the 37 residents who perished in the firestorm that day. Behind Marysville, in a steep valley, hides one of the natural must-sees of the area, the multi-cascaded Stevenson's Falls. Amongst the highest waterfalls in Victoria, they again present themselves in their usual glory. Completely burned in the fires, the surrounding vegetation has recovered greatly in the last 10 years. Fires are a natural and even essential part of these vast forests. The road to Lake Mountain passes through a stark landscape bleached with tree skeletons. This is the vast mountain ash forest that was in the path of the 2009 fires. Following the Marysville Woods Point Road further along allows you to experience the forest that escaped the fury of the fire. Near the site of the Camberville Historic Township is the Big Culvert, built around 1870. 
Outside the Yarra Ranges National Park, the Marysville Woods Point Road becomes unsealed and leads now into a remote section of the Great Forest. between the National Park and the State Forest, logging coops alternate with beautiful natural sections. At Matlock, the forest opens and history comes into view. Marked by a few headstones under old pine trees, a scatter of modest dwellings and a rusty boiler, the once thriving gold mining town high on the Great Dividing Range is now virtually a ghost town. In Woods Point, a tiny town in a narrow, steep-sided valley with a distinct forgotten by time feel. However, gold mining still has some life left as the town is stubbornly clinging to mining life. The Morning Star Mine, just behind the scattered houses, still operates. The next leg of the journey, the road from Woods Point to Jamison, is slow, partly unsealed, and follows the young Goulburn River for most of the 60 kilometres. Jamison is tour operator Andrew Dwyer's home. Jamison exists primarily because of the gold rush. In the 1860s, a massive gold rush occurred. Uh, more gold came out of here than the entire of the Yukon. Jamison is, is like a very small village and it has a, a vibrant community. Uh, the great thing about living in a small town is that everyone knows everyone else. That might sound like it's a problem, but it's not because people that live in a small town understand that closeness. But people really pull together in times of, uh, of need. Early morning at Bald Gap, a lookout at the Eildon Jemison Road. Connecting Jemison with Lake Eildon, the windy road once again penetrates deep into the forest. Along the way, it meets the big river. Eventually, after leading through seemingly endless forest, the fertile Goulburn Valley offers a stark change of scenery. Below the walls of Lake Eildon Dam is the Eildon Lower Pondage, where the Goulburn River is dammed a second time. A detour to the dam and up to Fogg's Lookout allows a glimpse into the maze of drowned river valleys of Lake Eildon. Constructed as a water reservoir for drinking, electricity generation and irrigation, it's mainly fed by the Goulburn River. Goulburn Valley gives travellers a break from the forests. Golden Hills and agricultural land dominate for a short while. Then the road reaches forest once more, and the next destination is King Lake National Park, another hotspot of the Black Saturday fires. Fire is such an essential part of it. You know, every single plant that we're looking at here be it the ferns and the shrubs and the eucalypts, they, they all have to have a way of dealing with fire, of, of um, being able to cope with fire, to regenerate. You know, some put out shoots, some put out suckers, 
some put out seed, they've all got their own way of, yeah, of dealing with fire and, and surviving. On the final leg of the forest journey, from King Lake to Healesville, a last forest jewel awaits. To Lange State Forest, home to the endangered Leadbeater's possum, the fauna emblem of Victoria. Large scale logging is still going on in the forest. Within it hides the untouched Wirrawilla rainforest. Over a recently upgraded boardwalk, visitors can take in sounds and scents of the forest. The environment is cool, damp and characterised by tree fern, myrtle beech and sassafras trees with the odd old mountain ash towering over the rainforest. This pocket of old growth forest showcases the grandeur of old growth forests. It also highlights the need for protection of all the magnificent forests of the Central Plateau.